Welcome everyone to our daily Forex market analysis and this is in preparation for a trading on actually 26th of September, not 25th. Let me just correct that, 26th of September 2016. Just a quick disclaimer before we get started. This is for educational purposes only. Trading is a risky business so please be careful with your money. And if you have questions about your individual investment needs, I recommend you talk to your investment advisor. All right, so as usual, we will start off by taking a look at our Forex Factory calendar today. So this week, it's a big central bank week. Uh, we talked about that in the weekly analysis. So just to kind of reiterate that, we have Bank of Japan uh, and, <coughs> excuse me, uh, we have Bank of Japan, we had ECB, um, and we had a couple of FOMC members or three FOMC members speaking. Um, another thing that's going on right now is uh, back to that uh, North Korea situation we have been talking about over the weeks here. Um, so we had uh, President Trump, he tweeted some stuff. And as a result of that, North Korea kind of took offense to that. And they said that basically he's initiating war. Um, that's how they viewed their comments. And they said if, um, and, and the U.S. also, they were flying their, uh, their fighter planes and stuff closer to North Korea than that they have ever been in the past. So basically what North Korea said that um, they can, they may shoot down those planes and, uh, and it's not them starting the war, it's President Trump initiating it. So that's kind of one, what happened um, uh, during the day here as well. So that's that uh, kind of started over the weekend and carried on um, into Monday. So that's for our um, news events. So coming up on Tuesday, it is a fairly quiet day. We just have consumer confidence number for the US and then we have Fed Chair Yellen speaking. So that, those are the two main things. Other than that, uh, FOMC members and stuff like that. New home sales will be important, but those are the two main things um, that we have on the tab. So looking at, so let's take a look at the charts now. So again, as we have the central bankers speaking, um, keep that in mind because that will have an impact on the US dollar and, uh, and the related currencies to that central bank. So tomorrow FOMC members and uh, Yellen speaking, so that will have an impact on the US dollar. Oh, another thing, the New Zealand business confidence numbers came, came in negative. As a result, we have seen a drop in New Zealand dollar here as well. So let's start from the top. Um, in terms of our, of our euro, we are still holding that range, but um, the comments from Draghi were not viewed as positive um, as the market would have liked to have seen them. So now we are right into the prices closed, right into the support and resistance line at 1.1830 level. So this is important here. If the price breaks this level, then we are looking for price to move lower. And our target would be 1.1750 level. So the move that I will be looking for is price goes up, um, goes through this level and does one of these. So this is the move um, that we may see from Euro US dollar. The, the close for today is negative. We had a pin bar here and now we have a drop. Same scenario here. We had a pin bar and a drop, pin bar and a drop. So now we are starting to make a lower highs and um, now I'm expecting the price to go lower, but this is a critical level, 1.1840 level. Price did not break this the last couple of times it was here, and we did see a push to the upside, so I would keep an eye on that. So this is where we are, price dropped quite a bit, so now it looks like it wants to go higher, oh, sorry, I mean, it wants to move lower, but before it does, it could go higher right into this pivot point would be the level that I would keep an eye on, 1.1880-ish level into the pivot point. So we'll get, um, we'll get that pullback into the pivot. We covered this in our um, Friday session. So price pulls back into pivot point, drops, does one of these, and that's the move that I'm expecting out of um, Euro US dollar here. So outlook is uh, bearish on that. 
Um, this one here, pound US dollar, it is still holding the high. So even though we have a bearish close on the day, I would be more careful between euro and pound, euro dollar looks weaker at this moment. So with this one, it hasn't broken really closed below this 134.50 level. So that's the first thing we need to see. If it closes below, then we are looking for a further move lower here into 133.80 level. And uh, let's take a look at one hour here. So here we are pushing into the pivot point. So this one could move. So this one could go all the way into here or it could push up into this R1 level here as well. So I would keep an eye on that. See how, how far price wants to um, push up here. So it's not as weak. We are seeing some lower highs in this one, but the move is not quite the same as it, in the, as it is in the Euro US dollar. So this one, the first pullback level that I would watch out for would be 134.90 or 135.00 level. This is the level that price, if you take a look here, price kind of played with this level for quite some time and now we have broken below, below that level and it seems to be holding so we could get a push up into that level before we see a drop so this type of a move and then price drop so the first target is the bottom of this level here which is uh, uh, approximately 133.87 level so that would be the target looking for pull to the upside and then a drop in this one. So outlook is bearish. Again, we have to watch out for this 134.50 level. If it doesn't manage to hold below that, then we could get price, um, price to bounce off of that level because it's struggling here and it's still overall it's bullish, but immediate outlook for tomorrow is bearish with this nice two bearish closes in a row. So we're looking for um, bearish move here. This one um, is Australian US dollar. We have seen a bearish move here. So looking for a further move to the downside in this one, the target here is 134, sorry, 0 0.7880 will be the target to the upside downside in this one. So bearish in this one as well. US dollar is doing well right now. So um, lately, what we've been seeing is one day, last week especially, this was very, very true of last week, price would move in one direction one day and in completely different, different direction in um, the, the next day. So that's the only thing we have to bear in mind because of so many central banks, everybody is speaking and as a result, market is trying to find its feet. So let's see how what Yellen has to say. But overall, last week, um, I think it was so last week, Fed said that they're going to shrink the balance sheet as a result of that. We are going to, um, that's, that gives the positivity to US. So as long as the US dollar continues, all these US crosses um, will likely line up to the downside. So this is the pullback level for Aussie US dollar, 79.50 level. So I'm looking for price to move lower. And the target here would be 78.80 level right here. So bearish outlook for this one. New Zealand US dollar, this is bearish. The trade balance numbers came out um, bearish on this. So this is quite bearish. So looking for a further move to the downside here, the target is a 70 ish level or the 10 level right about here. So looking for price to move down lower. And this is where we are as long as price holds below this pivot point level, which lines up with our previous support and resistance level. See how price broke through and kind of held below this 70 to 80 level. As long as it does that, we're looking for a further move to the downside in New Zealand US dollar here. So bearish outlook there. And then this is dollar CAD. Dollar CAD is pushing up, but it is struggling at this level. So price hasn't broken this level yet. It could go up higher. So it closed bullish, but just like uh, the British pound there. So it's into this uh, previous support and resistance level 20, 390 level, it could go all the way to 2420 level. 
and then drop. So overall, this looks bullish, but it's not overly bullish. Um, dollar CAD could drop. So we just kind of need to be careful with this one more so than the other crosses here. So in terms of outlook, I'd be looking for price to move up into the short. Um, I would be looking for a short in this area, 124.20 area, kind of do this. So this is a very important level for dollar CAD, kind of like here. So price uh, came down, came back all the way up to this level and then dropped and then came to the bottom here. And now we're looking for that pullback to the previous level that the price had broken through. So this is the scenario. So this is the type of move I am looking for. So 124.20 level is where I would be looking for a potential short in dollar CAD. So overall right now, the immediate outlook is to the upside. And then the outlook is going to change at 124.20 if it doesn't break above that. So this is a very good potential trade that we should keep in mind. Um, I am looking for, um, I'm going to wait on this though, till the price gets into 124.20 level. Looking at the one hour level, as we can see, we still have this kind of upward trend in place. So we need to um, see the price come into this R2 level and then I will evaluate to see if the price holds below this level, then I'm gonna be looking for a move to the downside. But for now, it does have that bullishness in place. So we'll just wait for this one at this level. Euro pound here, um, we had a big drop and then price has been in this range for some time now. So it is holding low here. So just like Euro US dollar, it is pushing into the, into the support here. And when prices tend to do that, they do go lower a lot of times. So with this one, just need to see a break of 78, 80 level. And once price holds below, we're looking for a further move to the downside. The close for today is bearish. So our bias is definitely bearish. So 87, 20 would be the level that I'd be looking for in Euro pound. Euro Swiss franc here, we are, we saw a big drop and this was due to the whole Korea situation. So if you take a look at all those, all the Swiss franc crosses and also the pound, sorry, also the yen crosses, all of them dropped. And so just keep in mind, this was a safe haven flows when um, North Korea starts talking about war, um, we see flows going to safe haven currencies. So Swiss franc, Japanese yen are both safe, safe haven currencies, gold as well, um, another safe haven asset. So price, uh, price of all of those tend to go up, which means all the Swiss crosses and Japanese yen crosses would drop as these two currencies get, um, they get stronger. So big drop. Um, so we kind of missed the move on that. Um, so for now, we do need to look for a pullback. So in Euro Swiss, because it was such a move back, a lot of times we will get pullbacks. So I'm looking for this 1.1496 1 1 level. Um, so with this one, because of the volatility, um, it could just continue lower, but if things shift, this could shift um, quite fast. So bear that in mind, but this one, we are certainly looking for a bearish move to the downside. Uh, the next target is 1.1380 level. So this is what um, the next level is. The In terms of the price move, I would like to see one of these moves. Um, now, whether we get that or not is, is sort of uh, to be seen because it could just drop from here and go to the next level because it does look quite bearish. And if the threat stays, threat of war stays, then this is likely to continue lower. So Euro Swiss is bearish, Pound Swiss, the same thing looking for a bearish move, big move today. So looking for a continuation of that. In terms of the pullback, we may see a pullback into 130.40 level, right into this pin. That's a good strong support and resistance level. So looking for price to move lower. 129.50 looks like a good level. Um, this one, 129.50, so that will be the target to the downside. It could go lower. 
Uh, but bear in mind in this one as well, it would be nice to either see a pullback into 13040 or even higher into this level, a 13080 level. And then there is more room for trade to move. Um, but if the you know the flight to safety stays in place then we may not see a huge pullback we could just see this one drop so overall it is bearish and we just need to see where the pullbacks will come we are looking at pound yen pound yen looks uh, bearish at the moment but again with the just like pound dollar with pound yen as well this is the level that price hasn't broken in a few days so we'll have to see if price can break that in terms of our pullback, it could go into 15130 level and then a drop. So with this one, the next level here, in terms of the target, um, is about there. So that's 149.20 level. So that will be the target to the downside. I would look for a pullback in this one and then a drop. So bias is to the downside. Euro yen, we are looking for a move to the downside as well. We are into support here. So we just have to be careful of that. Biases to the downside. We could see a move into 13100. So that will be the target to the downside. So bearishness here as well. Between pound yen and euro yen, um, euro yen is bearish just because euro is more bearish than British pound at this time. Aussie yen here. This is bearish as well. Nice close here. Now looking for a move to the downside. There is some Aussie news coming out tonight, so just keep that in mind. But other than that, uh, bias is to the downside. Target is 88.00 will be the first target. And then we are looking at 87.80. So that will be the target to the downside. Dollar yen, not the best chart. Euro Aussie, you know what, let me just change that. Okay, so in terms of our clothes, we are bearish here as well. And looking for a further move to the downside, the target in this case will be 131.00, sorry. 111.00 will be the target to the downside in this one. Euro Aussie, this is just sideways. Price is trading in a range. No clear direction for this. Very neutral candle close. It looks a little bit bullish, but we have pin bars on both sides. So very neutral close. <coughs> Excuse me, may not be the best one to look at. Um, Cadian. Cadian is bearish. So we are... Uh, looks like it just pulled back into this 90 points 36 level that we had marked and looks like it wants to continue lower the target would be 89.70 level so this support and resistance level this is um yeah so this is bearish as well all right so that's all i have any questions or anything to add Okay, doesn't look like it, so we'll call it a wrap. So that's it for today. Um, I will see if there's a trade that becomes available. Uh, but for now, so that's, that's it, and I will see you guys tomorrow.